All right, guys, I had some people ask me um, after I did my upfit or my high idle switch, the mod to make the engine idle about 12 to 1500 RPMs when you impart with the upfitter switch. After I did that, I had some people reach out to me how to wire up the auxiliary switches, upfitter switches, whatever you want to call them. I was just going to do a quick video and show y'all how to do one. So um, what you do is like under that box, you just lift that box up if you want to get to the switch and these will be zip tied. All these wires are down below. But there's one wire that has all these on it right here. So at the top, we're going to use that one. It says gray and brown. That's relay number four output. So that's going to be auxiliary switch number four. Um, and then what I did is I found this wire right here. It's it's gray, but it has a stripe, strip of brown on it. So that's going to be going to auxiliary switch number four. What I'm going to do real quick. Sorry, my dog's freaking out. What I'm going to do real quick is just wire up this little bit of light bar I usually have on my lawnmower. It's not going to be permanent, but I'm just going to give you an example how to wire up this light bar and it shouldn't take long at all. So I'll get some more steps and I'll stop and then I'll talk about it and we'll get it done. Hello. All right, guys, look, I'm back. All it is, like I said, I got the, the gray and the brown wire, which is the top one, so y'all can see it easily, relay number four. I hooked up my hot leg from my light. You go, you, you know, your hot leg is going to be usually your red or black, you know, white's neutral anyway. You're going to find your hot leg, hook it up to whatever relay that you want to use. We picked number four. We picked the fourth relay. And then all I did, uh, this is all, this ain't how I would ever leave this. I was just doing it real quick to show you. And then your black wire, which is your ground, you're gonna hook that to uh, either your neutral on your battery you know, or the, the ground on your battery. Or, you know, for my other one, uh, for my Raptor lights, I hooked the ground right here. Uh, you can see there's just a, a nut right there that I backed off and just put the ground on that. That's probably where I'd do it this time too, but just to do a quick video to show you I mean I just put it on the ground right here on this battery so again you know any kind of accessory light whatever you're gonna whatever you're gonna wire up it's gonna have a hot and a ground okay your hot goes to your relay the, the relay that you want to use we picked number four you just follow the directions on this sheet whatever one you pick and then the hot leg goes to the relay ground goes to your battery or a ground somewhere on the truck and to show you, we got. Oh, this on a tricycle. Yeah. See, we got relay number four on right now. So now my light's gonna be off, okay? And we'll go out there and show you real quick. The light's off, okay? And then, now the key to my truck's on, so I didn't. Relay number four, now the light's gonna be on, okay? It's really that simple. That's all it is. Um, you can actually make uh, you can make numbers uh, five and six hot all the time. I went over this in my other video. If you move the switch over in this little box or the fuse in this little box over, but there's a little brown fuse in this box. If you look at my other video, you see, just move that over one. It makes five and six hot all the time. Okay, but that's it. That's how you wire up the upfitters. You you. you you get whatever upfitter you want to use, find the color code here. Hot leg goes to there. Neutral goes to the ground on the uh, one of your batteries or a ground lug somewhere in your truck. But uh, anyway, guys, appreciate it. That's all it is to it. Uh, so if, if you like this video, if it was helpful to you, uh, like, comment, and maybe subscribe. And I'm going to get this dog his ball before he freaks out. But uh, that's all there is to it, guys. Appreciate you.